can you tell us a little bit about growing up in your household? How strict um, were they? Oh, very strict. I couldn't wear, like, if I wore a V-neck, it was, you know, called out. You know, if I posted a bikini picture on MySpace of me and all my friends hanging out by the pool or Facebook, whatever. Wait, on MySpace? MySpace or whatever Wait, it was. how old are you? I'm 28. Was MySpace around when you were? Yeah, I'm at the end. I'm at... I'm at the. One. I just feel like MySpace was so long ago. Yeah, I was on MySpace. I felt like nobody knew what MySpace oh, was. Oh, I anymore. got grounded for having sexual songs on my MySpace page. Wow. Like, yeah, I got. Oh, I got. I got grounded left and right. My, my parents. I don't know. Like sometimes I'm like, was did I grow up fucked up? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, they, I just grew up very strict household. My brother had a sickness growing up, still does Crohn's disease, really. He has it really bad. And then my other brother went to Iraq. So they were always, like, on, like, worried about them. So uh-huh. I was kind of always doing my own thing. Just right. Just vibing. Right. And um, so you, I assume, went to church every Sunday, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, until I got a little older. And, and then when, do, what are your beliefs on, I'm just always curious about people's, like, belief in, like, a higher power or God or whatnot. What are your thoughts on that now? Um, I got confirmed as a Catholic. I begged my mom not to do it mm-hmm. um, because I said I'm not sure that I want to be a Catholic. Mm-hmm. Um, but she said it doesn't matter. We're going to get you confirmed, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I am a confirmed Catholic, but I am not a Catholic. <laughs> but do you believe like? I believe that we're here and whatever put us here doesn't want us to know why we're here. Otherwise, we would know why we're here. Hmm, That's how I feel about it. I'm like, we have the ability to, like, look into the future and be like, oh, this is what the future is probably going to be like. But Mm -hmm. we can't look into the past and be like, what made us? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what, like, I'm like, maybe it doesn't want us to know. Like, if we Mm -hmm. found out how we were made, like, I don't know, everything would explode or something. Well, I mean, maybe that would take away what we call the human experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was, Maybe we're in pods somewhere, you know? Like, I mean, that yes, that's – like, all things are possible, right? <laughs> but, I mean, maybe the part of the human experience is trying to figure out why we're here and, and what our purpose is. And, and also, like, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different ways you can go with it, right? I just try – I believe in karma. That's what I believe in. Yeah. So if I do something shitty or I think about – if I'm, like, thinking about doing something shitty, I feel like something bad's going to happen to me. So I, I have the same – values in that aspect mm-hmm. as a Christian per- person mm-hmm. treat others with respect and all that stuff but um yeah obviously not in the sex area <laughs> I have a little <laughs> bit of different morals <laughs> yeah. so and you said that you don't talk to your your parents at all anymore no they don't talk to me actually I should have said mm-hmm. it's a them thing which I actually don't mind talking about because I think it's really important for people in a position of wanting to do something but then they have parents or family in their life that are like holding them back from doing it Mm -hmm. like their judgment like I know a lot of people like their parents want them to be this but they want to be that you Mm -hmm. know what I mean and it's like they don't become what they want because of the judgment in their life Mm -hmm. and that's so shitty like you shouldn't have to conform to be somebody else for somebody else you know yeah it doesn't matter if they're your blood or not yeah and them being your blood should accept you no matter what you do, as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Um, or at least have an open mind and have open discussions with you about it. Um, those are the things that you should receive once you decide to make the choices on your own. Right. You know? But I didn't receive those. And that made me realize maybe it's a them problem and not a yeah. me problem. And it took me so long to figure that out. I, my whole life, 28 years, I would say, to let go of my parents' grip. Finally, yeah. and just be myself. Yeah, I mean that's like the hardest thing. They say that your parents know how to push your buttons because they put them there. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, I have to say that that's admirable, and I've definitely had people come on the show and talk about how they had to relinquish a toxic relationship with their family and how it was really hard because, you know, we want to believe that the people who made us and the people that we grew up with are the people that should matter the most in our lives Mm -hmm. and should be the most aligned with our values and what we want. And that's not the case for everybody. No. And that shouldn't hold you back from the things that you want to do in your life. Because when you become an adult, like then you can kind of create your own family. Yeah. You don't have to be bound to the people 
mm-hmm. that made you if, if that relationship isn't working for you. And that's got to be a really yeah. hard thing to accept. It, it's really hard. And another thing is, too, is like you're only with your family. <laughs> like as a, as a young if there's like you have a if there's young people listening to this and they're in this position, like you're only with your family for so long. If you think about it, mm-hmm. like living with them, like all that stuff, it's such a small part of your life. The rest of your life is your life. And that's something that's not really taught. Like, that's you know, true. like I, this is mine. I have to figure this shit out on my own. Like, yeah, it's, I don't know. So I'm just, I think it's really important. Once you decide to make the choice for yourself to do that thing, it really opens up your eyes to how, um, you know, your relationships are with people and how they actually are. Treating yeah. You. It's interesting when you become an adult and you have that sudden realization that your parents aren't always right and that they're just Mm -hmm. human beings like the rest of us trying to make their way in the world and they make mistakes and some of them are just not great parents, Yeah, you know, because the thing is like anybody can have children. Yeah. Like you don't have to like take a test or like pass a course, you know. (laughs) Um, So it's just, uh, I mean, I remember like, because, you know, I grew up, I think probably like most kids, I grew up thinking that like everything my parents said was right Mm -hmm. and everything was gospel. And I remember getting to a a point when I was growing up and I was like, you know, I think that's not right. You're wrong about that. And then like seeing the flaws in them that I never wanted to see before. And yeah. then coming to terms with that and then accepting them is like, you know what? They're doing the best they have. They can with what they have. Yeah. And they don't have the best coping skills in this situation or in this situation. And mm-hmm. like, that's just how it is. The weirdest part for me is that they raised me with these values that mm-hmm. they don't hold. You yeah. know what I mean? Is I have such different like values than them you know Mm -hmm. like the value of family and you know friendship and hearing others out before you cutting cutting them off and Mm -hmm. just all those like not name calling your family members just i have those values that they instilled in me and then to think that they also had them and realize they they don't yeah weird like a really weird like juxtaposition yeah how the hell did i get these but you don't have them yeah you know yeah maybe lacking that self-awareness that you're not you're not living like the the things that you're trying to teach your kid like you're not actually but yeah it's weird internalizing they definitely thing. what is it you you are what you teach they yeah definitely didn't do that or whatever they they taught what they taught yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so so you said that you grew up in a house where you feel like you couldn't be yourself. Um, so do you feel like you're living as your true self now? Yeah, I struggle with like really, really bad anxiety because mm-hmm. of my like growing up and just not being myself, not feeling confident in myself, like not even like when I was a kid. This is this has been really sad. Sorry, I keep bringing up like no, sad okay. stuff, but we're having good conversation. We so. th- this on this podcast, we talk about sad shit. <laughs> We are here to ruin boners one episode at a time. If you thought you were going to come on this show and you're going to hear some hot shit, we will get to that later. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what was I saying? I have to humanize her first before you can objectify her. (laughs) Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.